Grammar 4, Chapter 16, Coordinating Conjunctions, The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to understand parallel structures, demonstrate parallel structures by using commas, distinguish various paired constructions, and connect independent clauses. Parallel structures. Parallel structure involves two or more words, phrases, or clauses that are similar in length and grammatical form. For example, items in a series appear in parallel grammatical form. A noun is listed with other nouns, such as an ing form with other ing forms. Noun plus n plus noun. Talal and his cousin are coming to lunch. Verb plus n plus verb. Ahmed raised his hand and waved his hand. Verb plus n plus verb. He is waving his arms and is communicating with us. Adjective plus but plus adjective. These sandals are old but nice. Infinitive plus or plus infinitive. He wants to play soccer or listen to the game. These are examples of parallel structures. Let us continue. Using commas. Hassan and Ahmed are in class. Sultan Tariq and Talal are in class. Sultan Tariq and Talal are in class. Sultan Tariq, Talal Salim, and Fahad are in class. Sultan Tariq, Talal Salim, and Fahad are in class. Please note the examples where there are commas. Items appear in 2, 3, 4, or 5 series. You must know where to place the comma. Paired conjunctions. There are several types of paired conjunctions in the English language. Some of the most prominent ones are either or. This conjunction is used when you want to convey a choice. Example. You can either buy a car with your money or you can spend it all on a new motorcycle and bicycle. Please notice either and or. They are used when you want to convey a choice. You have a choice between a car or a motorcycle and a bicycle. Neither nor. This conjunction is used when you want to negate two choices. Whenever you use neither, it must be followed by nor. Example. Neither Ahmed nor Hassan can save Sultan. Neither and nor both show that something cannot happen. This is negating two choices. There are several types of paired conjunctions in the English language. Some of the most prominent ones are not only but also. You typically use this conjunction to join sentences that demonstrate two typically contradictory choices. For example, the athlete is not only athletic but he is also a King College University educated surgeon. This demonstrates two typically contradictory choices. Someone is not really going to be an athlete who's a surgeon. So you use not only and but to stress that. Both and. You typically use these conjunctions to connect either two subjects or two objects. For example, both Ahmed and Fahad enjoy the match. This is connecting two subjects. Ibrahim enjoyed both the game and the food. Separating independent clauses with periods. Independent clauses can be connected or separated in a variety of ways. A period is used to separate two independent clauses. For example, my little brother refuses to go to bed early. He thinks she's going to miss out on some of his favorite TV shows. Another independent clause. Separating independent clauses with and or but. The seven coordinating conjunctions used as connecting words at the beginning of an independent clause are and, but, for, or, nor, so, and yet. When the second independent clause in a sentence begins with a coordinating conjunction as explained above, a comma is needed before the coordinating conjunction. For example, Ibrahim studied at home for his grammar quiz, comma, but it was hard to concentrate because of the noise. 